Brazilians go in this race, Andre Brasil and Felipe Rodriguez. But it's Fanafuert, Brasil, Rodriguez, Kripak, Dubrov, Crothers, Stein and Vanchenko. Three Ukrainian swimmers, two Brazilian swimmers, a Canadian, an Australian and a Dutch swimmer. First to be introduced, 20-year-old Dmitry Vanchenko will go in eight. Rudefir van der Voort goes in lane one for the Netherlands. At 54.77 for van der Voort. Nathan Steyn of Canada goes in lane seven, the 24-year-old. Now the medals should come from lanes two to six. Two will miss out. Andre Brazil, gold medalist in 2008, gold medalist in 2012. The 32 year old goes in lane two. Going in lane six, the Commonwealth champion, Rowan Crothers, a man they call Magnet. He used to be a water polo player, and uh, apparently, on a few occasions, the ball hit him on the head, <laughs> almost as if the ball was drawn to his head. Felipe Rodriguez goes in lane three. Silver medalist in 2008, silver medalist in 2012, both times behind Brazil. The 26-year-old 53 silver medalist goes in lane three. Well, the two favorites for the gold and silver, Denis Dubrov, the 27-year-old, already two gold medals, gold in the 100 fly and the 200 IM. Silver and... Uh, Two bronze for Dubrov. Maxim Kripak of Ukraine is the favorite in lane four. Gold in the 53, gold in the 100 back. And now looking to complete the 50 and 100 free double. Kripak qualified fastest, but separated by less than half a second were Kripak, Dubrov and Rodriguez. Still the world record holder is Andre Brazil. Now approaching his 33rd birthday, perhaps past his best. But he is looking to prove the doubters wrong and looking to show that indeed he's still got the ability to not only swim well, swim strong, but win races, claim medals. Now, this is Dubrov. Dubrov amongst the greatest medal halls of this competition so far. Five medals in total, including two golds. Van der Voort, Brazil, Rodriguez, Kripak, Dubrov, Crothers, Stein, and Vanchenko. Very good start in lane three for Felipe Rodriguez. Andre Brazil hits the water and looks to hit the front. He's up alongside Felipe Rodriguez. The two Ukrainians just trailing behind the two Brazilians for now. But Kripak is looking to launch a fight back and Dubrov comes into his own in this hundred. Watch out for Crothers as well. He's got a strong back end. The Commonwealth champion won the uh, Glasgow 2014 gold in very comfortable fashion, touches fifth overall. This is certainly going to be an intriguing finish to this title because after the turn, it is Kripak and Rodriguez who are leading. Andre Brazil shaping up for a bronze medal. Dubrov with a poor turn, lost out a little. Rodriguez is challenging for the gold. It's Kripak who's leading the pride of Brazil, the pride of Ukraine. Who's going to edge out? Brazil making a chance for silver. It's going to be Kripak, surely. Kripak, Dubrov closing fast as Kripak will take the gold. Brazil claims the silver. Dubrov doesn't even play, says Rodriguez, takes the bronze. That's as close as we've seen to the roof coming off at the Olympic Aquatic Stadium. Felipe Rodriguez beats Andre Brazil. Uh, Brazil rather beats Rodriguez, but... Maxim Kripak, a European record, 51.08. He's only one one hundredth of a second outside the Paralympic record by, set by Brazil. Brazil, a silver medal. Well, the cheer for the Brazilian, for the Ukrainians. 
Dubrov will feel shattered. He was making a very big bid for the bronze at least with a fast close, but how strong was the finish by Felipe Rodriguez? Dubrov, a poor turn at the top end of the pool though. Just put him out of middle contention. Clothers only touching fifth overall. Yeah, it just proves how costly it can be in this. Well, it's an all-out sprint, and if you time if your turn to perfection and capitalise on that, you set yourself up for the final 50. It didn't happen for Dubrov, but what a fantastic result for the Brazilian crowd. Silver and bronze, and Prepak there rightly celebrating his achievements, and you can see the emotion on the face of the Brazilians. What could possibly be better than swimming in front of a home crowd? And they're very thankful for it as well. Look at that. Andre Brazil, Felipe Rodriguez alongside one another acknowledge this delighted crowd at Rio 2016. They finish in silver and bronze, respectively. Dubrov missed.